Chapter 43 Dealing with Merge Conflicts While the detached head state you might find yourself in may sound scary, the situation that most Git users would like to avoid is having to deal with a merge conflict. A merge conflict occurs when we attempt to merge branches and Git is not able to figure out how to merge all changes without losing some information. This is almost always the result of two commits in different branches changing not only the same file, but the same line within that file. At this point, Git will attempt to do as much as it can to resolve the situation. But for those files where it can't figure out what to do on its own, it will ask us to sort it out ourselves. Which really isn't that big a deal for us, because by now we have a good idea of how Git works. But for the casual user who suddenly find themselves with a half-completed merge, merge conflicts can be rather dispiriting. On the plus side, learning to deal with and solve merge conflicts will cement your reputation as a Git guru. So for practice, let's cause a merge conflict and see how we can resolve it. For this scenario, we are going to create a new Git repository with Git in it and quickly create a merge conflict. First, we're going to create a file named conflict.md that holds two lines. The first line will hold, I will cause a merge conflict, but merge will be written with a U, which is a typo. The second line will hold, I will not. We then add and commit this file. Then we create a new branch called not main. On the not main branch, we will update the conflict.md file and make it say, I will cause a merge conflict. We then commit this change after adding this file. Then we switch back to the main branch and there we update conflict and we fix our typo and we say, I will cause merge conflict, but we forget the A somehow. The second line we do not touch. Then we add and commit that file too. We're now on the main branch. Our conflict.md file has changes in it both in the main branch and different changes in the not main branch. So finally, on the main branch, when we run git merge not main to tell git to merge the branch, it won't work. Git will tell us there's a merge conflict and is asking us to fix conflicts and then commit the result. If we run git status at this point, it will also say that there is a merge conflict and ask us to either fix the conflict and then run git commit or abort the merge with git merge dash dash abort. So let's first take a moment to appreciate that while we now have a merge conflict on our hands, Git already told us that we can simply back out of this situation by aborting the merge with git merge dash dash abort. Which is nice of Git, but we're not scared by a little merge conflict. Instead, let's fix the conflict. And to do so, we essentially have three options. Option one, is to pick the changes in the main branch as the winner and discard the changes in the not main branch. Option two is the opposite of that. Pick the changes in the not main branch as the winner and discard the changes in the main branch. Option three is to investigate the conflict in more detail and demonstrate that for now we are still smarter than Git and can find a solution that keeps all changes. The third option is almost always what you want. But if you are certain the changes in one branch can be discarded, you can just load the latest version of the file from the winning branch. By now, you should know that git checkout is the only command to get data out of the DAG. So let's say we want the not main branch to win, then we could solve this merge conflict with the command git checkout main conflict.md or if you wanted to keep the version in the not main branch, you could run git checkout not main conflict.md instead. If we run git status after this, git will inform us that all conflicts are resolved. However, we still need to commit to finalize this merge. That's because we're doing a three-way commit here, and so the merge is not complete until the merge commit happens. However, we took the easy way out here, and that's no fun. So let's abort our efforts to merge this here with the command git merge dash dash abort. And just like that, we are back to the point before we triggered our merge conflict. So let's simply try to merge again, which will land us in the same situation. To do so, we run git merge not main. Sure enough, git reliably drops us back into the same merge conflict state we were before. This time around, 
let's look into the contents of conflict.md. If you do this, you will see that Git has included the changes from both branches into the file and denated them with a series of lesser than, equal than, and greater than symbols to show which line belongs to which branch. In our case, only the first line has a conflict. The rest of the file, which is only the second line, does not. However, it's possible that there are multiple conflicts in a single file, so you should search for a repetition of equal signs just to make sure. For each merge conflict, you need to make a choice of how to reconcile the changes from the different branches and then update the file, making sure to remove the extra markup git added. We are also not limited to picking one option over the other. We are using the same git functionality as before, so anything goes. In our example, let's update the first line to read I am no longer in merge conflict and remove the markup git added. After you resolve all conflicts, whether it's through looking into the file and implementing your own solution, or by picking one brand's version of the other, you should add the file or files that had merge conflict in them and then commit them. In our example, after updating the file to reduce to remove the merge conflict, we would run git add conflict.md followed by git commit. And with that, we have successfully resolved the merge conflict and merged the two branches. Git put everything that it could figure out on its own in the staging area, asking us to only take care of those files where it could not figure out how to merge them. So we updated that one file in our case, and after adding them to the staging area, we could complete the merge by doing the merge commit. Nothing we used is new to us. If you know how Git does what it does, merge conflicts should no longer scare you.